it's Erin and today I am going to be going through uh, some of the supplies I have for school. This is just going to be the textbooks and nursing skills pack that I have. I am going to do a full video on all my school supplies and kind of what's in my backpack and all that. Um, but that's not going to be till after school starts just because then I'll be organized. I will find my system for the semester and then I'll show it to you guys. So for right now we're just going to go through textbooks and the skills pack and let's get ready. Okay, so I'm going to show you the skills pack first and it comes in this bag. Um, on the other side it's blue and it actually has our school name so I'm not going to show you that side just for you know reasons. The first thing I'm going to show you is something that did not come in the kit. This was given to me as a gift for my birthday this year um, and it is my stethoscope. Uh, this is a Littman Cardiology 3 and it is just the black kind of gunmetal finish and uh, blue tubing. Um, and so I'm going to keep this in my pack here just because this will come to class with me every time I'm in lab um, or it'll be in my backpack. I haven't quite decided yet, uh, but I know I'll need it every lab. So the next thing that's in here is a clipboard. And this one is just clear. It's got uh, rulers. It's got centimeters, millimeters on the side and inches on this side. Um, so that'll be really handy to have for clinical. And all of this stuff came pre-packed in here, so I didn't have to choose it. I didn't... Uh, or I didn't get to choose it. It was just what was given to us. Um, I think it cost $92 for the whole pack. Every single nursing student is getting one of these. The next thing that's in here is actually my blood pressure cuff. Um, it's in this black bag and I'm not going to take it out just because it takes a little bit of um, finagling to get it back in here nice and neat. Uh, but you've all seen a blood pressure cuff before, I hope, if you've gone to the doctor or something like that. Um, it's just a standard black adult normal size cuff, not no pediatric, no extra large, that kind of stuff. And all of my things, if you'll notice, probably I've got a little piece of this uh, tie-dye tape on it. It's just for clinicals, then if I set my stuff down, I know what's mine and what's not mine. Um, it'll just be easier for me to know that I'm getting my stuff back. So the next thing is this big bag, and I actually had a small rip in the bag, so I went ahead and taped it up with that tape. Um, I got this stuff, the duct tape at either Dylan's or Walmart, I'm not sure, but it was just this, it's just skinny little, almost like washi tape, but it's duct tape. Um, so this is an eye chart, and then we've got others on the back, um, and it has a pupil gauge on the bottom of this one. Um, this one is our pain scale and things like that, um, and then on the back we've got the PQRST sort of stuff. So these cards will be really handy to carry with me. They'll probably go in my pocket, honestly. Um, and then reflex hammer, it's just black, nothing special about that. Um, next thing is just a little pocket calculator, on and off, not anything too fancy. Um, I think this is just a disposable one, I don't know if we can change the batteries, uh, but this will just go in my scrub pocket during clinicals. Next thing is a tape measure, and so it just pops out, it's got centimeters on one side, inches on the other. Press this little button and it comes back in. Again, put my tape on it. Then we have just a pair of forceps, you know, clicked together, kind of, you know, forceps. Let's see. And then we have a pair of uh, bandage scissors, and these are kind of small. I might get some uh, trauma shears to have with me to help cut, you know, clothes and bandages and all that kind of stuff. Um, just because these are a little bit small for my fingers and they're going to come in handy but to me it might be better with some bigger ones. Then we've got a disposable pen light um, and so it's got a pupil gauge on it and it's this little plastic thing came on it um, just to keep it because when you push down the clip is when it turns on and so that's just to keep it from running the batteries down. It is disposable so that means you cannot replace the batteries. You can see them in the top here but you can't get to them without breaking the whole thing. And the last thing that's in this kit, which I don't really know what this is. I've never seen this before. Um, preservative free 0.9% sodium chloride injection. So basically, I think this is for helping when we start IVs and things like that. Um, I've never seen it in this kind of a form before. Um, so I don't know if this is supposed to kind of replace the saline flush or what. But we will find out. It's only 2 mil. 
I don't know. I obviously we're going to use this in lab and clinical and all that stuff. Um, I did find out for our fundamentals class, we are in the simulation lab for the first 10 weeks. After those 10 weeks, we go into the hospital setting and we actually start our clinicals on the floor. Um, I think we're just going to be in kind of general med surge kind of stuff, the death point, assessments of vitals, helping turn patients, uh, maybe a couple Foley catheters, things like that. Uh, but again, no meds, no, and you know, think anything more advanced like that. Okay, so the last. Uh, one of the last things I have in here is a gate belt. And then we have everyone's favorite thing, a Foley catheter tray. Um, so I'm assuming we're going to be using these a lot in lab and we're just going to use the same one over and over. Um, it is sterile right now, so I'm not going to get in it. Um, and I don't want to mess it up before we're supposed to. Uh, but it looks like it's got you know, everything we're going to need in there. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Next thing I'm going to show you guys are my textbooks. If any of you are using the same books, I'd love to hear from you. Um, I usually study by outlining the chapters that I need to read and then reading them through as I outline them and then going back and kind of rereading sections that are super important that we cover in class. I like to have my reading done before class, so I'm actually going to be starting here in the next couple days. School starts in six days and I have a couple chapters that are not necessarily due on the first day, but we're going to be discussing on the first day. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, the first one is Clinical Calculations Made Easy. Um, this is for my drug calculations class, and I bought this used. because There's a lot of workbook stuff in here and practice problems and things like that, and it's just easier for me to do it in the book. That way I have it with me as a reference, and I don't have more pieces of paper to carry around. And this is my Essentials of Pathophysiology book. It came in a pack with this code. Um, it's just a little DVD box, but it's got a uh, CD in it that we pop into the computer, I believe. Unless it's just a literal like piece of paper with a code on it, which is probably what it is. And then we do our homework and stuff on there. Um, this is obviously for my pathophysiology class. I, I had to buy it, and I think it was $150 for this and the code. We did have an option for an ebook and just the, and just buying the physical code. Um, but I opted for the actual physical book just because it's easier for me. I like physical books over ebooks because ebooks you can't write in, you can't put sticky notes in, you can't, you know, I don't know, stick your outlines in there. Okay, so the next book I have is my nursing diagnosis handbook. Um, I bought this book used um, because it's something that you're going to need over and over and over. From what I've heard from people, renting your kind of care plans book, which is what this is is something that you're not going to want to do because you're going to want to keep it. You're going to want it for future semesters to look back and say, okay, I remember doing something like this. What did I do? And you can look back at some of your care plans and tips and tricks that it has in here. Um, and I'm kind of excited about it. I've already flipped through it and it's got a lot of good information in there. The next book is Fundamentals of Nursing. This one I actually rented. Um, it is a hardcover and it is new. They didn't have any used for me to rent. Um, but this is basically all of our fundamental stuff, you know, how to do, um, see, assessment of sensory nerve function, um, personal hygiene, oxygenation, everything in there. Everything you're going to need to know how to do is in here. And so our fundamentals class kicks off in six days on Monday, as do most of my other classes. Um, and then, so this is the book we're going to be using. So I'm going to be logging this back and forth every day. So the last book I have for you, second to last book I have for you, uh, is Gerontological Nursing. This is for my health in aging class, which is online, um, and we actually have our first assignment due here in a couple days. Um, it's due, I believe, the first day of school. And this book I rented used because I'm probably not going to use it as much after this semester. Um, we're going to be moving into adult health one next semester as well as maternal and OB and pediatrics all at the same time. So I probably won't use this very much so I rented it. So the last book I have is from my health assessments class and it is the physical examination and health assessments lab manual. So this is one big giant workbook. I actually bought this used. They, the person before me wrote on maybe two pages, but I think they must have copied the majority of them. Um, I went ahead, I put my name in it, I started writing in it, I'm going to keep this thing. And so it goes through all your physical exams and everything, and so we actually are going to tear pages out of this in lab. And uh, 
fill those out and kind of, you know, we're going to partner and all this stuff. So I'm kind of excited about it. I looked and our first lab is over kind of cultural competence and um, how to interview a patient and doing a health assessment, um, just kind of a general like health history assessment, I guess I should say. So it's basically saying, you know, so here's here's the page we're going to be doing the first day. Um, so it's just like biographical data, um, who gave it and are they reliable, uh, why are they here, uh, an HPI history of present illness, uh, kind of describe your general health, do you have any chronic issues, do you have any hospitalizations, do you, have you had any operations, have you had any children, blah, blah, blah. So things like that. It's just kind of taking a whole history. Um, and then this is where I'm going to be grateful for my scribe background because I've heard a lot of these. I've heard thousands of these interviews with patients. And so I'm excited to see how I do when I'm going off of what I'm learning now with what I already know and trying to meld them together. Okay, so that is it for kind of the general school required sort of supplies. Um, once I get my system down in just a week or so, I am going to put up a school supplies video and like how I'm studying and how I'm taking notes and things like that. Hopefully it'll help you guys, uh, but in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did, I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button down there. Um, it really does help me out. It makes me feel good. I love that you guys are here. I love that you're watching my videos. I'm really enjoying making them for you. I'm sorry I was on a hiatus this last couple weeks. Um, we had some computer issues with our programs that uh, we used to edit videos, and we finally got it working soon. Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas or suggestions for videos you want to see, or if you're going to nursing school. I've heard from a ton of people that are going to school soon, and... Although I'm freaking out, I'm sure you're freaking out, but we can do this together. So let me know if you have any questions, concerns, comments, whatever, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!